In 1918, a lady enters a mansion and becomes intimate with an old man named Sarkar to steal a gold coin from the shrine of Haystar. Meanwhile, her kids are waiting for her in a cottage nearby. The lady doesn't want her kids to enter a room where an old lady, Sarkar's great-grandmother, resides. The old lady is cursed due to her proximity to it. Sarkar dies, and the lady plans to move out of Tumbad but is convinced by her son, Vinayak, to stay and search for the treasure. Vinayak's younger brother dies, and they leave the village, leaving the old lady behind. After 15 years, Vinayak returns to Tumbad and finds the old lady fused into a tree-like structure. She agrees to tell Vinayak about the treasure in exchange for her freedom. Vinayak spends months exploring the mansion and finds the treasure, which he uses to pay off his debts. He starts making frequent trips to Tumbad, selling gold coins to a money lender. The money lender grows suspicious and approaches Vinayak's home for financial help. Vinayak learns about the money lender's plan and follows him to Tumbad, where the money lender meets a cursed fate. Vinayak collects the gold coins by drawing a wheat flower circle to keep Haystar at bay and then luring him out with a doll-shaped wheat dough. Haystar appears out of hunger and cannot cross the wheat flower line. Vinayak grabs the gold coins from Haystar's fanny pack and escapes. This explains how Vinayak obtains the gold coins. In 1947, Vinayak is old and weak, and his son starts practicing to collect gold coins from Haystar's fanny pack. They visit Tumbad, but the son disobeys Vinayak's instructions and brings the dough inside, causing Haystar to appear. They manage to escape, but Vinayak punishes his son. All unregistered lands and mansions will now be owned by the government of India, including the mansion of Tumbad. Tumbad wants to buy the mansion, but the process seems complicated. Meanwhile, Tumbad's son suggests an idea to buy more time with Haystar. The idea is to make many doughs and throw them at Haystar one after another. While Haystar is busy eating, they can snatch the fanny pack, which is an infinite source of wealth. This way, they would never have to go back to Tumbad. Vinayak finds the idea pleasing and they set out for Tumbad to execute the plan. They are fully prepared and make many doughs. As usual, they draw a flower circle outside the well and then get inside and draw another circle around them. Now it's time to lure Haystar, but here comes the twist. For every doe exposed, one Haystar appears. The place is filled with Haystars crawling around. Though Vinayak and his son are safe within the flower circle, they don't have enough does to feed all the Haystars and climb out safely. So Vinayak decides to sacrifice himself for his son. He ties all the does around his body and starts climbing. All the Haystars follow him while his son is safe down within the circle. Vinayak lures the Haystars outside the well, and remember, there is another flower circle drawn outside the well, crossing which all Haystars chatter into dust. Now the son climbs out of the well, and right when he's about to leave, he sees the deformed body of Vinayak, who has been cursed but has somehow managed to snatch Haystars' fanny pack. He wants the son to have it, but the son refuses to take it, realizing that greed has cost him his father. He doesn't want his father to suffer the curse, so he burns his body and leaves.